because imagine Hogan, this was something I was going to ask uh, later on, but I'll ask it now, is uh, do you know Hulk Hogan's roughly current health situation? Because I don't know if he's got neuralgia, but he's, I know he's had so many back surgeries, and it was in the papers uh, pretty recently that he's walking with a cane a lot, and I think he was at Raw recently saying he basically couldn't feel his legs anymore. Do you know what, Hulk, do you know what Hogan's current health situation is? You know, I was in a room with him, and I didn't hear any of that from him. Um, I did see him. He had a staff, and I know that he's had back issues. You know, he's had, like, back eight back operations. I begged Hulk to let me come down and work with him. I mm -hmm. begged him after he had, like, his third back surgery, and I showed him the video of Arthur, the disabled veteran. You know, some guys can just so – they're just so old school that they only know one thing and that's you know the way they train they have a set thing and it's worked their whole life so it's you know it's tough to break that i love hulk i mean hulk was a big factor in the elevation of diamond dallas page and with randy savage and the whole thing i mean it was a big factor you know we should have we should have had a pay-per-view together me and him Never understood how that didn't work out like that. I did twice, but they were in tag teams, you know. But we should have had mono a mono, you know. Um, but uh, like I say, I love Hulk, man, and um, you know, it, it bums me out that he is, you know, he is feeling beat up, like. But that everybody, and you know, one of the main reasons because I, I don't go to do signings to make money. I don't. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm very, very successful what I, I've done in my investments and all this shit. But I love going to see the people because the people who come to see me, and it'll be the same thing at, for the love of wrestling, you know, at the end of April, the 29th and 30th in uh, Manchester. 30% of the people who will come to see me will be just hardcore wrestling, maybe 40%, be hardcore wrestling fans. A certain percentage will come from the movies, whether it was Ready to Rumble or uh, or Devil's Rejects. And 40 to 50 percent of the people will come could be from any of those movies or wrestling. But they're mainly there about DDPY. They want to tell me their story and, and, and thank me. And it's I mean, I can't tell you, James, how many times. You know, it gets, I get really choked up sometimes because they're crying. I'm talking about men bringing 250 pound men are tearing up, you know, and then, I, and I'm just breathing, trying not to, you know, <laughs> but sometimes I just do, you know, I don't care, but it's really emotional. So I come out to see them, but I also want to lay credence to, you know, for love of wrestling is probably not a good example because a lot of the guys that are in really good shape mm -hmm. still. But if you go to some of these ones that have the big wrestling convention, a lot of those guys, they can't get around that. Mm -hmm. And they're younger than me. And so I'm like, look what I do. Look how they've lived. And there's a different, there's a reason why I'm always talking about my shit because it works and I am the first poster boy, you know. Mm.